Hey, how's it going guys? Winifo here. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can auto farm in any game in Roblox without an exploit. So as you can see, this is the tool that I'm going to be using in this video. I've actually been using it for over 3 years and I've gotten on the leaderboard in 10 simulator games. So if you guys want it, it's going to be in the description. And yeah. So the first thing you want to do when you get this is come over here to this prefs tab. So just click this and then turn on continuous playback. And you guys don't need to touch anything else, just do continuous playback. And then once you've done that, join up into any simulator or non-simulator game that you want. So I'm just going to be doing Pet Simulator X, but you guys can do any game in literally all of Roblox as long as you can farm in it. So I've even done this in Jailbreak before, it just takes a while to set up. But yeah, so load into your game, come over here, and then anything that you do in this game. So for example, in this game, there's a big chest I can do. So just come over to this, and I'm going to be showing you guys in a couple other games as well. But just come over here, and then once you're at the big chest or whatever other objective you have in your game, just open up Tiny Task, come over here to this record button, and don't actually click it yet. First thing you want to do is make sure you're ready. So all you want to do is do the exact same thing that you'd want to do. So right now, I just want to put my pets on here. So I want to have my pets on here, maybe I want to do this overnight or something. And how I'm going to do this is come over here, click record, come back onto the game, put my pets on here. And basically what this is doing is recording everything that you're doing on your computer, just like this, boom, and then come back on a tiny task and stop it. So what I just did there is recorded me putting the pets under the chest. So if this is hard to understand, basically you just do the thing that you want to farm and then turn it off and then click play. So now my hands are completely off of my keyboard. If you guys can hear me clapping, you could hear me clapping. My hands are completely off my keyboard and this is going to automatically do this forever. And if you guys want to disable it, you guys probably just saw me doing it. Whenever it stops, it's going to bring your mouse back here. And whenever it clicks that, you just want to like click with your mouse. So you can turn it off whenever you want. And that's basically how it works. So you can even move around with this as I can show you guys right now. Record. And then I can just walk around and then stop the recording. And then if I click play, it's going to move me around. It looks a little bit buggy, but it does work. And yeah, so that's really useful in a lot of other games. I'm actually going to join up into this game really quickly. This anime fighting simulator game is really, really popular right now. And it's also a really, really simple game to auto farm. So I'm going to show you right now. Load up into the game. I don't know why they have such a long loading animation. Okay, so I'm in the game now, and oh my god, that's kind of laggy. But yeah, so once you're in the game, just come over here, do anything you want. So I'm going to be doing my strength, my armor, and my chakra. So how I'm going to do this is come over here, open up Tiny Task, go to record, and then I'm going to record myself getting some strength first. Then I'm going to record myself doing some defense, or durability or whatever, and then I'm going to do chakra, or sword skill, and then chakra. And then I'm just going to disable it. So now, if you have continuous playback on, you just click play. And then now my hands are completely off my keyboard and it's auto farming for me. And of course, you could leave this on overnight. That's probably what most people would do with this. And as you can see, completely OP. Like, it's doing the exact same thing I just did. And if you're in like a real pinch and you want to know how you can disable this, just click Alt, Alt F4, sorry. Click Alt F4 twice. And that's just going to close out your window. So really useful thing if you're kind of stuck, but yeah, so this is how it works and I guess I could show you guys me moving around with it. So the first thing you want to do, again, click record, go in the game, run around, and it's really buggy if you move your camera around, but you can always just run around without moving your camera, and then let's have it punch three times. Two, three, and then disable. So now when I click play, as you can see, it's completely moving in the exact same way I just did. So it basically copies everything you do. And then it's going to punch soon. Let's see. One. Okay, I don't know why it's not punching. I don't think I had my fist out when I did it. But yeah, you basically just have to do every single thing that you're doing over again. So I don't know if this is hard enough for you guys to understand. I'm going to explain it a little bit more thoroughly. So basically, you click record. Do anything that you want to farm without moving your camera around and then come back here and click record again to stop it and then you click play to play back everything 
So I'm loading up into one of these old simulator games I used to play called Treasure Hunt Simulator, just to give you guys another taste of how this is gonna work. So basically all you do, come over here, I'm actually gonna start in the cell area to make this a little bit easier for me. Come over here, click record. I'm gonna come over here, open up my tool, dig straight down. So let's say I just wanna dig straight down for a little bit and then click cell and then take out my, take off my tool, sorry, and then click record. And now, if I did this right, let's see, I think I did it right. Yeah, my hands are completely off my keyboard now and it's automatically farming for me. So again, this is like the thing that we're gonna have to do until Roblox exploits are back up. But like, as you guys can see, it's working completely fine. And if you guys have like school or you're sleeping or something, you could just leave this on during that and then when you get back you're gonna be completely rich in like all of these simulator games because most of these games are really repetitive so if you can automate a repetitive thing obviously it's really op but yeah i don't really know what else there is to showcase i guess i could demonstrate to you what some of these settings do so i would not recommend you guys use this open or save thing they're kind of broken but if you want to like double the speed let's say you want to do like an auto clicker or something you could do this do playback speed and then whatever you want so I'm going to have my playback speed, just click my tool, just an ex as an example, and then I'll turn it off. And then as you guys can see, it's going really, really fast, playing it back at 100 times the speed. And of course, you can disable this whenever you want. But yeah, so really, really cool stuff on here. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.